Yo, what's up? My name is Caleb Pauls, and I'm going with Adventures and Missions to tell stories of South Sudanese refugees living in northern Uganda. Check it. Let's go. Wow. What a week. And so this week we've been really chasing stories, seeing where we can put them in the scheme of things. How do I even zoom in? Pre-production is hard. Especially when you have these nice new cameras sitting in your bags and you just want to play with them all the time. The self-control to say no, I know the story is more important than shooting things, is very hard. We've devoted these last couple weeks just to pre-production and that's been awesome because Making a movie is pre-production, pre-production, pre-production. You have to craft the story. In pre-production. Which could be boring. Pre-production. I don't know. And make sure we have what we want before we just go shoot willy-nilly. Oh. Do I take one or two? Take two. Three. Three. Is this like blueberries or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's actually sweet charts to help you. It would be, episode one would just be like, discovering people who are frustrated and apathetic. Mm -hmm. and kind of putting all those people together. And then, I don't know where we settled on this, but... To connect the reality of the refugee crisis, what's actually happening, where they are, where they've come from. Yes. Is that what I'm seeing? Yes. As of right now, is to go on some form of questioning journey in which he's seeking the answers to the question of... If he doesn't know, then I think conflict can come with that. At this point, like, I'm so glad we've already established that he's gonna be our character and the themes and all that stuff. Um, all those details will come out in storyboard right. of conflict and stuff and we can... Okay, so then what's the next step? Because, in... at, because at the end, so what's the answer? Because if, if the we're... The all in hope schools. It's but our only it's hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. What if we played two characters off of each other? And we had two people going out in search of the same thing. And we were able to kind of play the storylines off of one another. I didn't know the creative process was going to be like this when we started. But it's been cool to be a part of and like see it evolve organically into what it has become. And a lot of this project I've been kind of concerned and worried and stressed about where this is going because I've invested a lot into this and I wanted to do well and it's my first kind of project like this that I feel an immense responsibility and weight to do something awesome and like shoot for the stars and wanted to do well. And so I want to put everything of my, I want to put every ounce of my being into this because I care. But in doing so, it's kind of just stressed me out beyond all belief. Now that we're into week two, week three, that anxiety is starting to die down. But I realized this, I've been suffering from imposter syndrome. So imposter syndrome is the idea that I am not cut out for where I am and therefore I am an imposter. I've done all this work and I've done all these things, but for this project, I'm still not the person that should be there. And that's not true. I've worked really hard to get to this point and my past has kind of shaped me to move forward. And that's awesome. No, that's not. If I would describe this week in one word, I think I would describe it as Tenacious. We went through lots and lots of meetings to try to get things moving and move forward. And sitting through that process is ridiculous because it's like... Holy crap, what did we just get ourselves into? Trying to beat down a wall of what actually is going to work. And that just takes lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of meetings. And really crafting out what works and what doesn't work. But by the end, I think we got it. Hopefully. And I've also learned too, like even the term refugee, 
to some of them is really shameful. I'm never gonna experience walking for two weeks straight to get across the border to find refuge. Be okay with seeing myself on camera and like know that like I am like the Lord's like hand and feet in this. We're starting filming officially. I mean, I've gotten some shots. And... I think the Lord's showing me that I actually do have what it takes to do this well. He learned a lot. Um, and now we're at a completely different place. I just gotta let the process happen. Curb the anxiety and just move forward. It means we're being creative, so.